Well met. Welcome to another random underscore 14 YouTube video. The envoy is here. I thank you for receiving me at such short notice. Time is of the essence, so I would forego the usual pleasant Reese, if I may. Certainly, you come with news of the Dravanians. Aye, the dragons have begun their attack in earnest. The first wave reached the central highlands a short while ago, and battle was joined soon thereafter. Sir Americ himself sallied forth with a contingent of temple knights and several companies of the noble house's finest. Though the beasts were ultimately forced into retreat, our victory, if such it may be called, came at the cost of many of our own. Too many. We will not withstand a second wave should the Dravanians renew their assault. You paint a grim picture, my lady. It is reinforcements you seek, then. We do. Though it pricks our pride, it is plain we cannot protect Ishgard with our ranks thus thinned by the Horde. Sir Americ would meet with you to discuss the possibility of enlisting your aid. Very well. I shall depart for Coerthas at once. I must warn you, however, that the involvement of the Crystal Braves is by no means assured, our commitment to quelling the unrest in Ulda must take precedence. It is with such contingencies in mind that I must make another request. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn are known for sharing close ties with all three of the Grand Companies of Eorzea. Would you consent to plead our case to their leaders? And though I will gladly appeal to the Grand Companies on your behalf, I dare not promise a favorable reply. You need say no more. Considering our past dealings with the Aorzean Alliance, I can well imagine how our plea will be received. But the fate of Ishgard hangs in the balance. We must explore every avenue still open to us, no matter how unpromising. I see. Very well. I shall send envoys to each of the allied nations and have them present your request directly to the heads of the Grand Companies. That is only to be expected. Rest assured that I speak with Sir Americ's authority in this matter, and that our actions are fully sanctioned by the Holy See. Which brings me to my final request, a personal appeal to you, warrior of light. The Lord Commander much desires to speak with you, regardless of your fellow's involvement. You faced Midgard some more and survived. Anything you can share of your experience may yield us an advantage over our foe. Thank you, you wear the mantle of hero well. It would seem the road leads us both to Camp Dragonhead. Seek me out when you arrive, Kaneka time. The sons must answer for their father's misdeeds. Only then will the cycle be broken.
brothers and sisters of the heavens, we raise our voices and join you in the chorus. The sinner's feeble magics are undone. Come, claim your retribution. <laughs> we have had reports from a number of frontier settlers, Twood seem the dragons have come as far as Mortona. It seems I was the swifter, Kaneka time. You too, however, have arrived with time to spare, for our host has yet to make an appearance. The murmurings about camp tell of some manner of trouble at the gates of judgment in the Lord Commander's absence, I suggest we visit the place and find out what is afoot. The Dravanians mass for an assault on our defenses, do they? Foolish lizards. They do not understand that to challenge the blessed light of the Holy See is to perish. Let the Horde come. We shall rid ourselves of thousands of their number in one fell swoop. Mark the nervous glances our friends share, the dragons have attacked, yes, but something else has occurred as something unexpected. Let us question the knights here ere we proceed. When I laid eyes upon Lady Iceheart, I felt the marrow freeze within my bones. The gates of judgment are much more than mere doors, they are the outermost layer of Ishgard's magical wards. If our first line of defense can be so easily shattered, heretic scum, how dare they meddle with our divine protections? I shall rid our nation of their blasphemy even if it means cutting them down one by one. None shall pass through the gates of judgment who have not been granted leave to do so. In order to enter Ishgard, you must first meet the following requirements. You must have completed the main scenario quest before the dawn. You must be currently undertaking the quest, coming to Ishgard. To review your quest progression, select duty from the main menu, followed by journal. Well, we need not fret over much, there are yet several layers of arcane protection that shield the city from invasion. Mother will be fine. It would seem the heretics struck the first and most telling blow against Ishgard. Science, we expected you at Camp Dragonhead. 
my apologies. We chanced to hear that there had been trouble at the gates and thought it prudent to investigate the cause. Then you have learned of the heretic's treachery. Lady Iceheart led a force of her followers against our defenders, and came close enough to dispel the first of our wards. But let us speak more of this back at the camp. Sir Americ awaits you. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Farewell.